Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. We have a big merchandise sale going on now through the month of April. Go to playingwithpowermtg.com and get up to 50% all of our merchandise. We also have a podcast. Check us out on YouTube or your favorite podcast aggregator. This year, we went to MagicCon Philly and had a great time while we were there. We recorded multiple games and these are some of those games tonight. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cal pounding the partner pair of Malcolm Kenai Navigator and Tana the Bloodsower. This is a deck that hopes to win with Glenhorn Buccaneer and Malcolm to combo off and win. Cal's opening hand contains a Glenhorn Buccaneer, Elvish Mystic, Jessica's Will, Mana Crypt, Ottawara Soaring City, Wooded Foothills, and a Force of Will. Next, we have Mike piloting the partner pair of Krom Ludovic's Opus and Timna the Weaver. This deck, known as Blue Farm, seeks to gain card advantage with its commanders and win through one of many combo finishers. Mike's opening hand contains a Lotus Petal, Volcanic Island, Watery Grave, Soul Ring, Toxic Deluge, and his London Mulligans are deflecting SWAT and culling the weak. Next, we have Phil, also known as Thraben U on the internet, piloting Winona, join our forces. This is an aggro stack deck that plans to get big damage by using its commander to cheat multiple hate bears onto the battlefield. Phil's opening hand contains a Ginger Brute, Ornithopter of Paradise, Plains, Professional Facebreaker, Battlefield Forge, Sanctum Prelate, and his London Mulligan is a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. Finally, we have Caleb, Paladin Selvala, Heart of the Wilds. This deck looks to play big green spells with large amounts of mana from its commander and win the game through combat. Caleb's opening hand contains a Command Beacon, Natural State, Sylvan Safekeeper, Finehorn Elves, Jeweled Lotus, and two Forests. Without further ado, let's kick off this Focus Feral Free-For-All Fracas. Cal won the game of Musical Chairs and gets to start us off. Cal draws a card for turn and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. He ends the turn. Mike draws and pays two life to cast Jataxian Probe, targeting Cal. He looks at Cal's hand and draws a card. He plays a Watery Grave into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts Toxic Deluge, paying two life as an additional cost. Cal wonders what in the world Mike is doing, and Malcolm dies. Mike laughs and passes the turn. Phil draws and plays a Plains. He casts Alciate of Life's Bounty. He passes to Caleb. Caleb draws and plays a Forest. He casts a Finehorn Elves. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He sacrifices the Jeweled Lotus to help cast his commander, Savala, Heart of the Wilds. He ends his turn. During Cal's upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts an Elvish Mystic. He passes to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He ends the turn. Phil draws and plays a Battlefield Forge. He casts a Mana Crypt. He taps Battlefield Forge to help cast his commander, Winota, joiner of forces. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with Alciad. Winota triggers, Phil looks at the top six and puts Thalia's Lancers onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking Caleb. Lancers enters and Phil fetches up a Squee, Dubious Monarch, into his hand. They all take it and Phil passes the turn. Caleb draws and plays a Forest. He casts a Teemer Sabertooth. He passes the turn. During his upkeep, Cal wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and plays an Ottawara, Soaring City as his land for turn. He casts a Birds of Paradise. He recasts his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. He ends his turn. Mike draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Temna. Cal takes it and Mike gains two life. In his second main phase, he pays a life and draws a card through Temna. He plays a Volcanic Island. He casts Ad Nauseam. With no answers, Ad Nause resolves. He reveals an Opposition Agent, Wheel of Fortune, Ancient Tomb, Demonic Consultation, Gemstone Caverns, City of Brass, Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, Swan Song, Savine's Reclamation, Demonic Tutor, Underground Sea, Force of Will, Thassa's Oracle, Ottawa Soaring City, Gamble, Jeweled Lotus, Brain Freeze, Final Fortune, Swords to Plowshares, Mnemonic Betrayal, Polluted Delta, Forbidden Orchard, Mystic Remora, and a Mind Break Trap, killing him. The turn moves to Phil. During his upkeep, Phil wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Plateau onto the battlefield. He casts Squee, Dubious Monarch. He casts a Ginger Brute. He moves to combat and attacks Cal with everything. Winota triggers three times and Squee triggers. Phil creates a 1-1 Goblin token tapped in attacking Cal. Then Phil looks at the top six and puts Blade Historian onto the battlefield, tapped in attacking Cal. He looks at the next six, putting Ethersworn Cannonist onto the battlefield, tapped in attacking Caleb. He looks at the next six one last time and puts Recruiter of the Guard onto the battlefield, tapped in attacking Cal. Recruiter of the Guard triggers and Phil fetches up a Solitude into his hand. With no blocks, Caleb takes four and Cal takes 32. Phil passes the turn to Caleb. Caleb draws and casts Rishkar's Expertise. He draws four cards, but cannot cast anything for free due to Ethersworn Cannonist. He moves to combat and attacks Phil with Teamer Sabertooth. Phil declares no blocks and takes it. Caleb passes, discarding to hand size. 
During his upkeep, Cal loses his mana crypt flip, takes 3 damage, and dies. During his upkeep, Phil wins his mana crypt flip. He draws and moves directly to combat. He attacks Caleb with everything. Winota triggers 4 times and Squee triggers. Phil creates a 1-1 one -one goblin token tapped in attacking Caleb. Then Phil looks at the top 6 and puts a Grand Abolisher onto the battlefield tapped in attacking Caleb. He looks at the next 6 and puts a Magus of the Moon onto the battlefield tapped in attacking. He looks at the next 6 and puts Mother of Runes onto the battlefield tapped in attacking. He then looks at the last 6 and fails to find. Then Caleb takes 48 damage, dies, and Phil wins the game. Wow, what a wild game. We have another pod for you, so let's dive right in. In this game, Cal is piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Kenai Navigator and Tana the Bloodsower. His opening hand contains a Deflecting Swat, Ancient Tomb, Worldly Tutor, Windswept Teeth, Elvish Mystic, and his Lenin Mulligans are Stomping Ground and Spire Garden. Next, we have Lua Stardust, piloting Winota, Joiner of Forces. Her opening hand contains the Gemstone Caverns, Shatter Skull Smashing, Draneth Magistrate, Eric Mesa, Rin Wingmare, Skrelv, Deflector Might, and her London Mulligan is a Rionia Fire Dancer. After that, we have Brian, also known as Bosch and Roll, piloting the partner pair of Tim to the Weaver and Krom Ludovic Opus. His opening hand contains a Command Tower, Marsh Flats, Grim Monolith, Talisman of Dominance, Cyclonic Rift, Force of Will, and his London Mulligan is a Lion's Eye Diamond. Finally, we have Ian, also known as Comedian MTG, piloting Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This deck uses Kinnon to make a lot of mana and then cheat huge creatures onto the battlefield. Ian's opening hand contains the Gemstone Caverns, Windswept Teeth, Consecrated Sphinx, Mox Amber, Wooded Foothills, Mox Opal, and a Misty Rainforest. And Cal gets to start us off. But Lua and Ian have free game actions. Lua puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Vryn Wingmare. Ian also puts the Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Windswept Teeth. Cal draws a card for turn and plays a Rejuvenating Springs. He casts Elvish Mystic. He passes the turn. Lua draws and plays an Arid Mesa. She cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Plains onto the battlefield. She casts a Draneth Magistrate. She gives the turn to Brian. Brian draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He ships the turn. Ian draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts Mox Amber. He casts Mystic Remora. He ends his turn. Cal draws, plays a Windswept Teeth, and passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Brian cracks his Marsh Flats, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. Lua draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. She casts Spirit of the Labyrinth. She cracks Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a Plateau onto the battlefield. She casts Skrelv, Deflector Might. She moves to combat and attacks Brian with Draneth. Brian takes it, and Lua passes. Brian draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He gives the turn to Ian. During his upkeep, Ian pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Breeding Pool onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He casts a Talisman of Curiosity. He casts Mox Opal. Ian passes. At the end of Ian's turn, Cal cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a Stomping Ground onto the battlefield tapped. Cal draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts Vexing Shusher. He ships the turn to Lua. Lua draws and plays a Shattered Skull, the Hammer Pass, into play untapped, paying three life. She casts her commander, Winota, joiner of forces. In response, Brian casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, targeting Winota. Mystic Remora triggers and Ian draws. Force of Will resolves, countering Winota. Lua moves to combat and attacks Brian with Spirit of the Labyrinth and Draneth. Brian takes the hit and Lua ends the turn. Brian draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts Talisman of Dominance and Ian draws through Remora. He casts an Arcane Signet and Ian draws again. Brian passes to Ian. During his upkeep, Ian lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a Homeward Path. He casts a Mana Vault. He casts Consecrated Sphinx. He gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and Consecrated Sphinx triggers. Ian draws one due to Spirit of the Labyrinth. Cal does nothing else and ends the turn. Lua draws, Consecrated Sphinx triggers, and Ian draws one due to Spirit. Lua plays a City of Brass and moves to combat. She attacks Brian with Draneth and the Spirit. Brian takes it, and Lua passes. Brian draws, Sphinx triggers, and Ian draws one. He casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Plateau. He casts a Grim Monolith. He ships the turn to Ian. During his draw step, Ian takes a damage through his Mana Vault. He moves to combat, attacking Lua with Consecrated Sphinx. Lua takes it, and in his second main phase, Ian casts Wandering Archaic. In response, Brian casts Ad Nauseam. In response, Cal casts Swan Song, targeting Ad Nauseam. Ad Nauseam is countered, and Brian creates a 2 2 bird. Wandering Archaic resolves, and Ian passes the turn. At the end of Ian's turn, Cal casts Worldly Tutor. Wandering Archaic triggers, and Cal taps Ancient Tomb to pay for it. Worldly Tutor resolves, and Cal fetches up a Spellseeker onto the top of his library. The turn moves to Cal. Cal draws, Consecrated Sphinx triggers, and Ian draws one. He takes no other actions and passes to Lua. Lua draws, Sphinx triggers, and Ian draws one. She plays a Windswept Teeth for turn. She cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Plains onto the battlefield. She recasts her commander, Winota. She moves to combat and attacks Brian with everything. Winota triggers twice. Lua looks at the top six, putting Angrath's Marauders onto the battlefield, tapped in attacking Ian. 
She looks at the next six, putting Imperial Recruiter onto the battlefield tapped and attacking Ian. Imperial Recruiter triggers, and Lua fetches up a Rograx, son of Rogaw, into her hand. Brian blocks the Spirit with his bird, and Ian blocks Imperial Recruiter with Wandering Archaic. Spirit dies, and then they both take the rest. In her second main phase, she casts Rograk. She ends her turn. Brian draws, and since Spirit of the Labyrinth is no longer on the battlefield, Ian draws two through Consecrated Sphinx. He does nothing else and passes. At the end of Brian's turn, Ian casts Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. He then casts a Worldly Tutor, fetching up a Hullbreaker Horror onto the top of his library. Brian gives the turn to Ian. Ian draws and casts Hullbreaker Horror. He plays a Gaius Cradle and then taps it for three green. He casts a Spellskite. Hullbreaker Horror triggers, and Ian returns Mox Opal to his hand. He casts Mox Opal, returning Mana Vault to his hand. He demonstrates a loop by casting and bouncing Mox Opal and Mana Vault, producing infinite mana of all colors. He ends the loop by bouncing Dreadeth Magistrate. He casts his commander, Kennen, Bonder Prodigy. He activates Kennen an infinite number of times, putting all of his non-humans onto the battlefield, including Thrasios, Triton Hero. He activates Thrasios, drawing his deck and putting all of his lands onto the battlefield tapped. He then casts Finalia Devastation, where X equals 69,420, pumping all of his creatures, giving them haste, and then moving to combat. He attacks with everything, and Ian wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun set of games tonight. We had a ton of fun playing with everyone at Magicon. It was great to see so many friends and play with people while we were there. Congrats to Phil and Ian on their wins. In Game 1, Phil showed once again just how powerful Winota can be. By putting so many creatures into play attacking for free, he was able to take out his opponents in two quick swings. In Game 2, Ian did a great job playing around Dranith Magistrate and Spirit of the Labyrinth while everyone else was locked out under them before closing out the game in a true canon fashion. The most valuable card in Game 1, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Ad Nauseam. Mike failing to find the mana positive cards after drawing 24 cards through Ad Nauseam and removing himself from the game cleared the way for Phil to focus his attacks on Cal and win the game. But in all seriousness, the most valuable card goes to Winota. There is just no other way to put it. She is the best Boros commander in CDH and it isn't even close. Being able to lock down the board while breaking parity so well is such a strong strategy in this format. The most valuable card in Game 2 goes the Spirit of the Labyrinth. This card held down the table and preventing anyone from really going off. Draneth slowed down everyone, but it was Spirit that prevented the people from finding the answers that they needed to remove Draneth and progressing their game plans. A big thanks to Phil, Brian, Lua, and Ian for joining us in tonight's games. They are awesome creators and you should check them out. Links are in the description below. We will be going to more events throughout the year, so stay tuned to our social media to find out more. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.